Okay, so NBA young boy got arrested and the footage surfaced of him and his girlfriend like play fighting in a hotel. Um, this goes back to when she was found sleeping in the hotel lobby. I'm also noticing something a little bit weird about all of these rappers recently going to jail. Let's get into it right now. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys go check out DeForce from Unknown Source Music. He's a rapper slash producer, painting his own canvas, the good, the bad, and the ugly. His Instagram, YouTube, everything is below. And if you want to run ads on the channel, it's JordanTowerMedia at gmail.com. Well, has anybody thought all the rappers going to jail? Who's all the high profile rappers that went to jail in the past couple of years? You got Gucci Man, Kodak Black, Kevin Gates, uh, Boosie, uh, NBA Youngboy. What do all these rappers have in common? They're all on Atlantic Records. Even Atlantic showed up to an XXX Tentacion got out of jail, which is weird because their execs were there when he got out of jail, which is very weird. But <clears throat> I just think that's a fun fact. We don't, I don't, I'm not saying there's a conspiracy theory. It's just that, but it might show you that they're always there for their clients. It might be a positive thing. I don't know. But anyways, so NBA young boy, he got arrested for weapons and this uh, kidnapping incident. Okay. Now, the kidnapping incident's going to get thrown out because the girlfriend came out and she's saying, we were just play fighting. That's not real. It's just typical, <laughs> typical uh, relationship where there's some, some, you know, stuff going on and the woman is defending the guy for doing, the, you know, it's just, I don't know, man. They're young. So I'm not saying, you know, he's a young kid, too. I didn't realize he had like three kids. I think he has two kids that are, they're twins, and then and he's only like eighteen. But uh, this kid's moving fast out here. But um, yeah, those charges are gonna get dropped. Obviously, uh, the weapons charge, he just needs a good lawyer. But uh, I don't know. That that's the one thing that might stick and might have him violate his probation. But uh, still, still, that, that I'll put the footage link below. But, uh, because I'm not going to put it in the video, it's too graphic. But it's like, I don't know, man. I can't say that's play fighting. Like, you would play fight like that with, like, if you were playing football, you know? <laughs> that's crazy. I don't know. Uh, especially with a, a woman. But, uh, anyways, guys, kid, I like the kid's music. I like his grind. Uh, he's young, so I don't know. I, I don't know what to say, man. But, uh, I think it's very funny that all of these artists are signed to Atlantic. That's a little weird, a little spooky. But uh, anyways, guys, what do you guys think? Get in the comments below. Oh, I'm sad. Kentrell, I bet you can't pull me. I bet you can't pull me. I'm stronger than you. You know, just playing with him, just playing on his top. You feel me? I bet you can't pull me. Haha, <laughs> I'm stronger than you. He was like, Kentrell, you're not stronger than me. So if you leave seeing the video, he said, Nini, come here. Nini, come here. Nini, come here. So, I mean, that video is us playing. What's the difference between this video of us playing and the video in the airport of us playing? When I had that red jacket on, and as soon as we saw people watching us playing, we waved. We waved and smiled. That's how we played. I didn't know because we were in a public eye that we couldn't live our life or play how we want to play. I mean, I didn't know that. Make sure you guys go check out DeForce from Unknown Source Music. He's a rapper slash producer, painting his own canvas, the good, the bad, and the ugly. His Instagram, YouTube, everything is below.